job. What do you want? This isn't a job. It's a protest, you loser. Is this just Eater, like a Jonah and the Whale situation? We're getting biblical now. Are these two gonna fall in love again and then start dating again? Like, am I gonna hate Mako because he's just a player? Where the f is Kaora? We just haven't even addressed the fact that she's like in a spirit's belly. She's not okay. Ugh. Look at him working with Batu. What a creep. Why on earth would you want to unleash Batu? Kara and Janora have entered the spirit world. Oh my god. I never heard their names said back to back like that. It's a rhyme. Kara and Janora. <laughs> On an adventure. Sorry. <laughs> In my head, I was like, that's the beginning of a rap, but I don't, I can't rap. So I'm just stopping. Please come back soon. No. <laughs> She's having a great time. The spirits are so much more beautiful in their own world than they are at home. Janora, be careful. Janora, oh my God, no. Hey, watch where you're going, you giant clod. Sorry. They're like meerkats, they're like giant meerkat groundhog things. Get her! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Cora, stay calm! Your energy is upsetting them! Stop fighting them. Ah! What are they doing? What the heck? Oh my god. Oh my god, that was scary. I like how even in this spirit form, they still are struggling to get air like they have to breathe. It's like even in your dream, you can drown, you know? <laughs> Janora! <laughs> what? She's a little kid now? She's a little kid? Oh my god. Cora's energy has trapped her in the dark world as a little baby. But Janora's energy is peaceful and calm, so she's, she's okay. Oh! Wait, I've read about this place. Grandpa Eng came here. It's Wan Chi Tong's spirit library. Spirit library? Oh, oh, that one that they found in the desert? How did it end up here? Ah, get away! Oh, oh no, you heard it. Oh, it's cute and little now. I'm sorry I spotted you. You just scared me. Oh. You two look lost. Maybe I can help you. Is it Iroh? I was good friends with Avatar Aang. What the heck? Iroh. Hello, Korra. What the heck? Commercial break. <laughs> what? Oh. We're having a little tea party. She's He's leading her out of the dark place immediately. Wow. Oh, God. Are we going to see the owl? The creepy, strict owl that was like, No, no humans, humans can ever read my books! books. Yep. The uh -oh. human who said that is still here. Oh, yeah! Hey, dude! I thought anyone could come in if they brought you some new knowledge. Those are the old rules. Oh. What is the little girl going to teach Wan Chi Tang? He who knows 10,000 things. Maybe you'll know 10,001 after her. Yes, I am well aware of the radio. There is a box. And inside the box, there is a tiny man who sings and plays musical instruments. No. Radio takes those sound waves and converts them into electromagnetic energy that is transmitted through the spectrum. All right, enough. I did not know this. Apparently, I have been fed some misinformation. Misinformation! About the existence of tiny men in boxes. Oh no, you're in trouble, Wolf. You may look around, but don't break anything. Really? I'll know. Yeah, don't piss off this owl. He's crazy, good little girl. All right, he's gonna trap you here if you break anything. Janora's gone! and I need to find her. She's lost and we need to go home. I don't like the spirit world. I don't want to be here anymore. Cora, you're making it a more of a nightmare for yourself now. Cora, please stop. Look at what you're doing to everyone. You're doing this. It's all you're doing. I did that? Yeah, babe. Man. Your emotions become your reality. This is a lot like a mushroom trip. <laughs> Going to the spirit world is just like psychedelics. If you don't like what your mental, what your brain is doing or your mind is creating, don't take psychedelics. There, you see? I can make the sun shine? This is a very valuable lesson, I'm sure, for her to learn to fight Unalak. Sometimes the best way to solve your own problems is to help someone else. Up the little bird. I'll take him home. Where do I go? 
The Dragonbird Nest is located there. Dragonbird. At the top of High Rio Peak. This little kid has got to climb that mountain. Wait, she's a little child right now. She's got to climb the mountain. I need to find a map that shows where the spirit portals are. Could you help me? Yes, don't. This wolf dog last time showed Aang and friends something you weren't they weren't supposed to see. Let's not make the owl mad, okay? I'm scared of this owl. But as long as the portals are closed during the harmonic convergence, Vatu will remain imprisoned and the battle between good and evil will not be fought again. Whoa. What if Korra is able to close the southern portal and we trap Unalak there? How crazy would that be? We just leave him there? Because that's how he entered was, so his physical body is there. Leaving so soon. When Wan Shi Tong told me he had a visitor, I had to see it with my- No! Wan Shi Tong is working with Unalak? <gasps> oh. Furry foot? No. No. Not her friend. Man, that freaking owl, I knew I shouldn't trust that freaking owl. My name is Cora, and I'm taking this dragon bird home. Oh, they look pretty much the same. They look pretty much the same, honestly. Aww. I bet a big mama is gonna show up. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Oh, never mind. They all form one big one. That's oh, she's an adult now. There we go. Wow. Is this gonna be her spirit ally? Yeah! Now let's close that portal and go find Janora. Wow, it looks like um one of the legendary Pokemon. Are they coming? They're coming! Allies, yes! Oh, you're not hanging out for the fight? You're leaving? The dogs are staying. So you've returned, Rama. Ooh, trippy. Trippy. You're not getting out. You might want to reconsider. Uh-oh, because they have Janora. You want to save your friend. I'm gonna threaten Janora now. No. Wow. No, this is horrible. Oh, even are her spirits turning on her now? Oh no. They're so hot and cold! If you want your friend to make it out of the spirit world, you'll open the other portal now. Don't do it, Cora! No. <sighs> Oh my god, stop! What kind of threat is this if you're just gonna do it? Oh my god. Stop! I'll do it. I mean, there's no way that she's gonna let that happen to Janora. I don't know what she's gonna do. Now let Janora go! You should have come through the portal! Oh right, she can't bend. This is horrible. No, this is horrible. We're really not even giving Janora back after that. You're awful. Okay, so he's gonna try to suck her soul out and she's probably gonna go into the Avatar state and it's gonna magically save her. Oh no, this creature is gonna save her. Okay. This creature's not tainted by the evil. Okay. Nice. Man, those dogs are so fickle. It's horrible. No, she just woke up. Oh no. Tenzin, I'm... I'm sorry. She's stuck there. She's stuck there. So Cora woke up with, oh, just like that? That's not cool. What happened to my little girl? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Yeah, I mean, I could have predicted that was gonna go wrong. Oh no. Varric, you didn't have to do all this for us. I wanted to! I wanted to spoil you guys, of course. He's got something planned. He's totally got something planned. I'm not gonna lie, playing a movie in an arena shape like this is kind of weird, unless it's on like a sided, like a jumbotron with four sides. But it looked like it was just like a flat screen. I think this is your best mover yet. I just wish Mako was here to see it. Aw, yeah. Oh, what's happening? Mako's right, huh? They are literally, just do your job. <laughs> I love our job. Oh. You guys are idiots. My God. Must destroy, knock, knock. <laughs> Why does it, part of it looks animated and the other part doesn't? <laughs> what is, what, Babu has laser eyes? Are you kidding me? Where's Juji? Oh, no. Knock, no. Knock, no. 
It's okay, Nuktuk. At least I got to be <coughs> your friend. Oh my god, they really got Pabu to act well. Oh. Oh! The cut, the cut, the cut! Ah, the pause! The tail wagging. They're after the president! <gasps> the president. Interesting. Would they tell the cops who they were after, who they were there for? Oh, he's here! I don't think so. Woo! He's actually having a real hero moment. That's great. <laughs> wow! Varric's gonna be mad. <laughs> he's, this is his arena though. He's good at this. Oh my God, it's, it's a real time. Maybe this is exactly what Varric had planned, but I, I don't think he could have known that Bolin would intervene at that moment. Like I can't imagine he would have had that all planned out. That wouldn't really make sense. This is unbelievable! Bolin is bending two full stacks of earth discs. Where? Oh, he's just announcing to himself. But then again, he's fighting three waterbenders. He's got to announce he can't stop. He can't turn it off. Tell me who sent you. It was Varric. Please don't hurt me, Nuktuk. Yep. I think this is our cue to exit. Nope. Where do you think you're going? Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> Nice, good job, Bolin. I can't believe he was still gonna attack Bolin. Wow, he really is a hero. Crazy, better than the movie. I'm glad we didn't have to watch any more of the movie. I can't believe Varric would do something like this, and no one saw it coming. Mako did. Remember Mako? Mm-hmm. I'm glad she's at least giving him credit. We're gonna take him out of jail now, right? President Raiko. Oh my God, Korra's here. It's so good to see you guys again. <laughs> yeah. Wait, where's Mako? Uh, well, we can release him now. Great. Let's just say we both did good. Beifong says you're free to go. Beifong didn't come release him personally. She just was like, ah, tell him. <laughs> oh, they're applauding. Good, good. Thank you. Oh. Oh, 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 my God. Mako, I missed you so much. What the f is happening? So you're not still mad at me? Why would I be mad? We had that fight before you left. Remember? She doesn't remember any of it. Maybe it hasn't all come back yet. Was it a bad fight? Oh my god. Uh... I swear. Oh my god. Asami does not deserve this. Asami deserves better. She deserves better than this bullshit. Guys, hey, what do you think? Oh my God, this is his prison cell? Are you prison. kidding me? And I had this cell made special. I had a feeling I'd end up here one day. <laughs> Julie, come on. Wait, he's allowed to have Julie in here? She, even in prison, she still has to work for him? Look, I am truly sorry for the mess I caused. Let me make it up to you. Take Julie. What? My battleship. The ship. We're going to stop Unalak and get Jenora back. I hope my dad's all right. I'm sure he's fine. Uh, he's been better. You're no brother of mine. You betrayed me. You had me banished. Yes, I did. He sounds more evil than when we first met him, even. Oh my God, he dodging. He dodging, he busting through the ice. Oh my God. He's so close, but he's not gonna make it. Oh no, he almost made it too. He almost touched him. No. It's horrible. You're horrible. Oh, he can move his face in, in the ice? No way. He's not dead. No way. Your daughter is next. You're horrible. You're just awful. Goodness, what a slimy piece of sh <laughs> God. You know, a wise man once told me that delivering bad news to a girlfriend was like ripping off a blood-sucking leech. You just have to do it fast and get it over with. Uh-huh. <sighs> I hate it when you listen to me. I really think Mago deserves to be single for a while and... Lock Batu in for another 10,000 years and make Unalak wish he'd never been born! Oh, Mako's gonna wait. He's gonna be scared now after that. Thanks, Mako. Uh... <laughs> he can't do it now. I think uh, Asami and Korra need to have a girl power moment where they just um, ditch his ass for a bit because he's acting like a clown over here. It's giving like Ross, we were on a break energy, you know? 
What else is there? The Water Tribe is united. After today, there will be no more Water Tribe. No more nations of any kind. Yeah, you guys didn't realize what you were helping your dad do. And I will lead this glorious revolution. They don't like that. They don't like the sound of that. I feel like they're gonna turn on him. We've already beaten everyone. The Avatar will be here soon. She has no choice. He's such an idiot because what does he think is gonna happen? He's gonna release Vatu and like Vatu and him are gonna work together and it's gonna be like two best friends like <laughs> having a hunky dory time. No, that's not what's gonna happen. Oh no, they've covered Oogie. Get off of him, you sticky, nasty little blob of fool. Whoa. Oh my God, Boomy. I go, you're coming with me. Ah! Boomy. Jesus Christ. Great, you got one, dude. Wow. I appreciate the bravery, but damn. I really wish these twins would just stop helping their dad. Oh no. Brace yourselves. It's gonna be more than bracing yourself. Okay. Oi, oi, oi. Oh no. Now is not the time to pass out. Congratulations, everyone. Oh my god, even her hair is falling down. You've all got front row seats for the beginning of the New World Order. You're a, you're such an idiot, Unalak, honestly. The Avatar hasn't brought balance, only chaos. You call yourself the bridge between the two worlds, but there shouldn't be a bridge. We should live together as one. Oh, he thinks it's gonna be back like during the times of the times of Juan when all the spirits are loose in the world, but it's just gonna be darkness and evil spirits. When harmonic convergence comes, I will fuse with Vatu. Oh, wow. And together we will become the new avatar. An evil avatar. A dark avatar. Why do you wanna be friends with the dark spirits? You're, you're neglecting all the good in spirits. Vatu and I will be as one, no one will be able to stand against us. Yeah, they're not liking the things their dad is saying. We've lost Jinora forever. There's still a chance. They didn't get Boomy. Oh, Boomy, that's true. They didn't get him. He's fine. <laughs> Gonna play the flute? It wants to listen to your flute. No way, music just turns them into good spirits? That's it? That's easy. Is it actually gonna work? I don't know, they're not turning. Maybe it is working. Nope. They don't like it. It's not working! What the heck? Why did it work on the one? Get me out of here! At least he's gonna destroy their whole camp. Oh my god. Yeah, what a what a well thought out plan. It's just gonna chaotically work out, huh? All right, guys, rescue time. <laughs> yes, okay, wow, I guess Eskin and Desna really aren't gonna turn on their dad, so lame. Great job, Boomy. How did you managed to take out this entire encampment on your own? I did it all with my trusty flute and... Oh, never mind, you wouldn't believe it anyway. Ah, true, you wouldn't believe it anyway. The things just kind of work out for him is what I'm <laughs> gathering. He's kind of an idiot, but things just kind of work out. Oh, she touched it quick. She's not able to close it quick though, huh? That's all, it's almost gonna close, huh? And then it's gonna- You're running out of time, Rama. I know you feel it coming. Oh God. It's gonna be fine. There's no way like, well, oh my God. What, she can't close it again? Are you kidding me? Oh no. Is she gonna have to fight off Vatu inside of Unalak's body? Are you guys finally gonna do something about it? Stop staring at each other nervously and do something about your dad, your problematic father. Yeah, isn't this much better? So much better, huh? Eska and Desna, don't you like this better? I will say seeing the Aurora Borealis everywhere would be pretty cool, but that's about it. Uh-oh. Oh, he's broken free. It's the end, the end of episode 12, huh? So the next two episodes are gonna be fighting off Vatu. Damn. Oh. 
What are you gonna do to him? Let Unalak back in the spirit world. Oh, we just threw him out. Spirit, hello. I don't know, I feel like that's a trap. I feel like that's a trap. That looks like a little like angler fish. Uh-oh. Yep. Dare wake me, human. Yep. Does it have a little like light on its head? Only. Yep. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yep, I would jump off that cliff too. Oh my god. Okay. She knocked a piece out of him. Oh, what? He just grew back. That's not fair. We're walking in circles. I've seen that same spirit mushroom five times. These three are kind of insufferable together. I'm not going to lie. Like, I love Tenzin, but I hate him when he's with his siblings. <gasps> oh, it's Iroh. Is he going to help? He'd be a great spirit guide. Oh, with the dog from the Your library. Spirit Fox told me you were lost. Oh, Fox. Okay. If you travel too deep into the spirit world, you could end up in a place where only the lost will ever find you. Oh, that's ominous and terrifying. Is he gone? He couldn't help more than that. He just said, I warn you, it could get really bad. That's it. Oh, is that the hint? I know where to find Janora. Where? Only the lost can find you? Ah! She just fire breathed. Fire breath, fi she breathed fire. There's no way it's gonna be that easy. He's gonna break out. This is a psych out moment. You again? Wow, we're really letting this thing take us. Okay, I guess that's part of it. I thought we were gonna be taken to a prison. This is a prison. Well, it's like a mold. Fog of lost souls. Lost souls. Is that where he took Janora? Oh, that's fun. What a fun thing to be thrown into then. Oh no, Unalak's gonna ruin this. She would have done it if not for Unalak. Almost. Stop. Oh no. Use your, your fire hands to heat up the ice, Mako, come on, melt. Oh no. Yep, there he goes. Yep. Although, didn't Rava have a real, like, didn't um, Juan have a really hard time keeping Rava inside of his body without it, like, degrading him and turning him? So wouldn't, like, the same be true for Vatu and Unalak? I guess we'll see. We are now one. Your voice sounds even more annoying now. I feel like he started off sounding kind of neutral, and now he just sounds annoying. Oh, sh**. It's <laughs> like a battle of the titans. The fog is actually a spirit that infects your mind and slowly drives you mad. Oh, fun. I am Zhao the Conqueror. I am the Moon Slayer. I will capture the Avatar. You, you're him, the last airbender. Isn't this the guy from season one that like got taken away by a dark spirit into the underworld? Is that him? Oh my god, they're two little wind tornadoes attacking each other. But he still can only bend water, huh? Yeah, that sucks. You can't bend the other elements. Oh, damn. He's really good at water, though. Your dad has become an evil monster. Why would you protect someone who doesn't care about you at all? Father was going to let me expire. Right. Yeah, you guys. My god. Perhaps we should rethink our position. Right. His words are poisoning your mind. <laughs> What's with this outburst of emotion? Is he acting? It's just so sad. He's acting. That'll never get to be with you. He's acting. He's acting. He's acting. He's acting. He's acting. I've always loved you, and I've always wanted to be the with movie. You. The world is ending. I'm never gonna get that chance. He's he's worked his acting muscle. He's so much better at acting now. No, I, I was scared. I was scared of my true feelings for you. <laughs> He's giving the performance of a lifetime. This is the only reason that the acting character arc wor like I was patient with it because this moment makes it worth it. <laughs> oh my God, we're really, she's gonna be, oh no. Oh God, he, oh, this sucks because I feel bad for her because she just got played. Wow, that was the best acting I've ever seen. You completely fooled her. Yeah, right, that, that was acting. Wait, was it not? I'm confused. 
I'm confused. Paulin, I thought you didn't love her. What's going on? Maybe he was, maybe he just, the emotion overtook him because he forgot the trauma of being with her. I don't know. That's weird. I thought that was acting. So his eyes glow red and hers, her, her eyes glow light. I kind of wish his eyes turned black because it's really about shadow versus light. Oh, that's something you don't want to see. No! Oh, that's bad. Oh God! Rava, no! I'll never be the man you were. You are right. You are trying to hold on to a false perception of yourself. You are not me, and you should not be me. Oh my God. Yeah, just focus on finding your daughter, my God. I am Tenzin. I am Tenzin. What is he, he's clearing out the fog for everybody? Janor, poor baby girl, my God. She's, she, oh my God, she's gotta be in such rough shape. Oh my God, they're all in rough shape, Jesus. Tenzin was the only one who could keep it together. Rava, no. Uh, uh, uh. Oh no, Rava! Yeah. Oh, she feels the avatar, avatar is dying. Yeah. Oh, it's hurting her too, oh no. This is like poetic. Oh my God, it's happening so fast. What's gonna happen, Cora? Juan, what? No way, what? No way, you can't just destroy. There can't be darkness without light. I'm so confused. It's Korra. This light spirit will guide you out of the spirit world. Janora, what? I have to go help. Janora! Oh my God. Oh no, is Janora gonna sacrifice herself? Oh my God, what, ha what happened to Rava? Should she, is she, what? By destroying Rava, Unalak and Vatu transformed into the most powerful dark spirit that's ever okay, So Rava's been destroyed. I mean, we have to like make a new Rava. Ooh, pretty. It's not pretty baby, but okay. I mean, it is pretty, but it's not pretty when you know what it, why it's happening. Oh God. Fire! It does nothing. Your, your bullets do nothing to me. Your weapons are merely an inconvenience. I have read that long ago, the ancients would meditate beneath this tree and connect with the great cosmic energy of the universe. So she can still airbend. So even though she's not connected with Rava, she can still airbend. I guess because she learned how to airbend. Do as the ancients once did. Connect to the cosmic energy of the universe. You really think I can do this? I have no doubt. Thank you for not giving up on me. I'm proud of you. I just want to know where Janora's at. Like, I'm nervous. Maybe she's gathering spirits, like friendly spirits. If you and Vatu have the same fight every 10,000 years, why hasn't one of you destroyed the other? Mm. He cannot destroy light any more than- Right, so Rava has to be out there somewhere. Find the light in the dark. Right, so Rava's out there somewhere. That makes sense. That's why I was so confused when it looked like he destroyed her. I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. That's the cosmic energy. Actually, that's really pretty artwork. Oh, she's a spirit. She's gonna go fight. That was easy. That happened so fast. What did you say to her exactly? <laughs> oh my God. She made that look easy. Here she is. Second comet. Now this is really a battle of the Titans. Cora's back. And she's a blue giant. Honestly, if I was Pema with my kids, I'd be like hopping on a bison and getting the hell out of here. I'd, I would not want to be this close to the action with my kids. Looking for something that is gone. Rava has been destroyed. You can't, you can't do that, bro. Oh my God, girl. Just letting yourself get hit. Oh no, he's gonna do the spirit thingy. No, don't let him do it to you. He's turning you into evil spirit, no. 
No, she gonna fight back. Just in the nick of time, she's gonna... I feel like Janora's gonna show up with a positive... A positive spirit army? A light spirit army? I feel like something's gotta happen. Yeah! Alone. Okay, good. So done with spirits. Well, maybe you shouldn't have. Eska, I love you. Mwah. Maybe you shouldn't have. Uh... Let's face the end of the world together. Okay. So romantic. <laughs> Are they actually gonna be together? I'm so confused. <laughs> maybe he really does love her. Bolin is so wishy-washy. <laughs> I'm happy that they're finally helping, but my God, if you're so over spirits, you should have gotten involved sooner. Janora. There she is. She's gonna be the light, huh? She's a source of pure light. No. Brava. Brava's in there now, because of what Janora did. Okay, but don't we need to imprison Vatu again? Maybe not. Go in peace. Harmonic convergence is nearly over. We must return to the spirit world so we can fuse once again. Shinora, what about you? Wait, oh my god. No, no, no. What? Oh my god, please. Oh my god. Is she gonna be okay? Is she gonna be able to go back to her body after all this? I'll see you soon, Dad. What? Please tell me that means you're going back to your body. Oh, she, oh, she did. She went back. She found it. They would just happen to be staring at her and just both smile, not like, oh my God, she's awake. <laughs> they weren't even like shocked when she just woke up. They're all right. Cora saved the world. No, little girl, you saved the world, okay? I will not be joining you, Bolin. Desna and I must return home. But you said... Eternal darkness was upon us. I became caught up in the moment. Now she's breaking his heart. I guess I did too. Yeah, you definitely did. You will always hold a special place in the organ that pumps my blood. In the organ that pumps my blood. I will blood. remember you fondly, my turtle duck. Yeah, good. Okay, yeah, you guys really shouldn't be together. What if Unalak was right when he said the Avatar shouldn't be a bridge between the two worlds? What if humans and spirits weren't meant to live apart? Well, what do you think I should do? I think you should trust your instincts. As a good mentor. Damn, we're just gonna leave it open. After all that, we are gonna leave the portals open. Things will never be the same again. We are entering a new age. Interesting. I kind of like that choice for her to leave the portals open, even though I was kind of joking, like saying, oh my God, after all that, you know, like we're just gonna leave it open. But I kind of like that choice because it's, it's interesting. This season definitely felt like so much weaker than the last. There were just a lot of, a lot of scenes with like cheesy dialogue or scenes that even felt just kind of drawn out with dialogue that I didn't really need. Jokes that weren't funny that I didn't really need. A lot of stuff felt like manufactured pace wise, which just immediately kind of lowered the stakes for me, but I know that that has to do with the fact that the writers were just constantly, had the rug pulled out from underneath them, like with season one saying, this is the only season you're gonna get, make it count, same thing with this season. I don't know if that's the case for the next one or not, but it makes sense that the pacing would feel weird and that stuff would just come a lot more naturally and easily for the characters because it just has to, to keep things moving along. If the writers knew they had like four seasons to draw out a storyline for, they could have these longer periods where um, characters really have to go through these dark struggles and these things wouldn't always work out by the end of the season. In fact, like something would happen at the end of the season and it maybe would have a really sad, dark, awful ending where you don't know what's gonna happen in the next season and if the characters are gonna be okay and it would feel more like a cliffhanger. Instead, both of these seasons just felt very disjointed, two different storylines. And I enjoyed the last season finale a lot more, although I was disappointed that that storyline wrapped up because I thought it was so interesting. I really liked the parallels to fascist governments and political movements that I was seeing in that story. But I think knowing what the writers were told they had to do and what they had to fit into a season, I think they did a really good job with that one. This one, um, I think it was a bit messier and not 
quite as captivating, not quite as nuanced. There were just so many scenes too where I feel like characters were just standing around talking. And whenever you get too much of that in a movie or a show, it can become really boring. And, and, and I'm not saying that from like a perspective of like, oh, there's nothing happening. There's no action, I'm bored. It's more like when people are standing around giving exposition or saying things that we have the, we as the audience have already seen happen in a scene previous, I check out because I, I already know that that happened. Like half the time they're talking about stuff that happened in the scene previous and we just didn't need it. So I think, this season was just a lot weaker. Um, but I know a lot of people have expressed concern that I'm not gonna watch season three. I definitely plan to watch season three and I'm excited to see what it's like because a lot of people have really been raving about that season. And I really did enjoy a lot of what I saw in season one. I will say like the first half of it, not so much, but the second half of season one, I did really like. So I have high hopes for season three, we shall see. And I'm not gonna give up hope on the show just yet because you know, I have heard that the next season is good. I think if I had heard from you guys that it just gets worse and worse and worse, I'd probably quit this show. But because I'm hearing the opposite, that it definitely leaves me more inspired and hopeful to watch the next season. Because um, I do remember getting emotional at the end of season one. There were some really beautiful moments in that season that were really well done. And I, I do think these writers are probably really smart and know what they're doing. It's just, certain factors are outside of their control that make the pacing unnatural and um, left the future of this show up in the air for them. And so they just kind of had to do what they had to do. And I'm excited to see what the next season will be like, presumably without those kinds of pressures from the production company. And I hope y'all have been enjoying watching this show with me. If you like these videos, definitely make sure to give this video a thumbs up so that I know and I can watch more Legend of Korra with all of you very soon, as well as maybe some more animated shows. Of course, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and anything else you might like me to check out next and subscribe if you want to. Till the next one, stay golden. Bye.